Hi everyone, it's Wednesday the 10th of August and it's 10.55 in the evening. Now in this video I've got a bunch of items that I'd like to show you that I've acquired over the last couple of weeks. Um, there's at least one item that I've been gifted, some stuff I bought myself uh, from the local recycling centre as well as um, eBay and um, some stuff that I've traded with a friend. But before we get into all of that lot, you could just about seeing something here actually. Um, I just want to update you on my eye. So, two and a half weeks now it's been, and uh, there's been a significant improvement to be honest. I've got a lot more sight back than I ever thought I was going to get. I th seriously, that Saturday I thought that was it, my sight's gone. You know. I'm going to be pretty much partially blind for the rest of my life. Um, but no, I've actually got a lot more back than I thought. I'm seeing the screen a heck of a lot more clearer now and I can read the writing on the screen. It's a bit weird because I don't know how to describe what it's like to see through at the minute. It's a bit like trying to look through a moderate sort of mist, you know, it's not too thick. It's not too thick, it's somewhere in the middle, you know, you can sort of see through the mist, but not quite clearly. <laughs> um, that's, I think that's the best way I can describe it. I then throw in like some dark patches. It's not quite blocking everything out now, but there's a few tiny little spots just above my center line of vision. And that's probably why I've got like the cloud effect or the mist effect. Um, that sort of darkens white words. If it's a black word, I can't see it. If it's white words, it just looks darker. Um, that's what it's like at the minute. But I've got, I'd say, a good sort of 85% of my vision back. Maybe even 90%. I might even go that far. Um, but uh, even Mum said today, you know, this might be as far as it's going to go. As it's been... Well, I've noticed a little bit of improvement today. Um, or it feels like it has. To be honest, I'm now at the point where I don't know if it's just because I'm getting used to it or what it is now. Um, <laughs> but it feels like it, at least. Um, but what I want to do, because, you know, I ride a moped but I haven't done for the last two and a half weeks. Um, I want to give it at least another month and a half just to you know, see if this eye is actually going to do anything, pun not intended, um, before I decide you know, what to do with the moped. Because even though at the moment I can pretty much still function around the flat, you know, I can still do everything, I can see well enough to fact I could see well enough to do most of my hobbies. I don't know if I'd be able to do fiddly little electronics. So some repairs and that I may not be able to do but in general you know I'm looking around here I can almost it's literally like it's like that close now to being back to normal. I can read everything on the flyers on the board there on the records in this box I can see those in fact, pretty clearly now, it's just, it's literally just a tiny, it just needs to improve a tiny bit more. That's the bit that's frustrating me. <laughs> um, but like I said, uh, the site that's being completely blocked wise, almost gone. Um, but yeah, I've actually built some Lego models. I've actually built some fiddly Lego models. They're um, the Lego Speed Champions themes. Absolutely love collecting those cars in that thing. But uh, despite them, you know, being like yay big, they use a lot of small parts. Um, so they can be quite fiddly. But I've managed it, and I've managed the stickers as well, surprisingly. Um, so you're probably thinking, well, if I can do all that, then surely I'm fine to ride a moped but I still I don't want to risk it you know 
if anything happened, either to me or I hit some, you know, someone, something, whatever, that's my fault. And I'm not willing, I'm, seriously, I'm not willing to take that sort of risk. Not to put myself at risk or anyone else. <clears throat> I'd rather, you know, just sell it and just give up. But not yet. I think two and a half weeks after it is a bit early. Because, you know, sometimes healing can take months, so... I don't know. I will give it a month and a half. And I'll see how things are then. Um, if I still feel it is still improving very slowly, then I might keep hold of the moped. If I feel it's just stayed the same all that time, then I'll probably just sell it. Along with my classics, because I wouldn't be able to ride those either, will I? So... Yeah, we'll just, I'll just have to just take things slowly, I think. Um, I know I haven't even tried riding the moped in the last two and a half weeks. It wouldn't have been so bad. If it had happened in this eye, things would have just been as normal. Because I've got crap vision in that eye anyway. In fact, I may not have even bloody noticed it was there, to be honest. At least not until, you know, several hours after it happened, after I'd woken up. Um, yeah, like I said, if things would have been fun as normal, because this eye is the one I use, the right eye. That's my good eye, because I've got an astigmatism. So, the lenses on the fronts of your eyes, mine, are actually um, misshapen. They're not the proper shape. So, that affects light going into the eyes, and that, of course, affects my vision. It's not so bad in this one. You know, I'm 38 and I've functioned through life perfectly fine. It's not brilliant, it's not 100% as it should be, but it's not been that bad. Left eye, no. <laughs> no bueno. Um, never mind. So, let's get into the video, shall we? And I'm going to start with computer items. I'm just going to move my um, Tango Dark Berry out of it. I love this stuff. This one, which is sugar free, and I like the berry peachy one as well. That's all I could get this evening. Because dipstick here, I left my um, pack of berry peachy over at Mum's. <laughs> so it's currently sitting on top of her freezer. And there's actually two cans in the fridge. Um, so as Mum wanted to stop in Sainsbury's um, on the way back tonight, I got a can of um, Tango Dark Berry, or a pack of Tango Dark Berry, I should say, not a can. I only said that because I was looking at it. But um, yeah, Sainsbury's here in town, they'd sold out of a lot of cans. There was no berry peachy left. There was some there this morning when me and Mum were in there, but not this evening. Um, None of the Pepsi Max uh, caffeine free, which is why I've got the Tango Peach, um, Tango Peachy, Tango Dark Berry, I'm getting myself confused now. <laughs> um, yeah, I've still, I've been two and a half weeks now without any caffeine. And aside from getting headaches in the beginning, which I always got, every time I went more than 24 hours without caffeine, sometimes even less, I'd get headaches. So I knew that's what the headaches were for. But I battled through it this time because I thought, you know, I've got to do something to help the blood pressure because there's clearly a problem there. Oh, quick update on that. I've got to wear a 24-hour uh, blood pressure monitor, which is being fitted on the 7th of September. Um, I guess they want a better picture, you know, of what the blood pressure is like throughout the day. So I've got to wear this poxy machine that goes off, you know, and takes your blood pressure every half an hour or how many years. I don't think I'm going to get any sleep that night. I guarantee I'll just be dozing off and then it'll be brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
So here we go. We'll start off with a PC case. There's nothing really that special. I mean, it's a nice looking case. I do like it. It's a Cooler Master. I like Cooler Master and their fans. There's no transparent panel, which is a bit of a bummer because I've actually grown to like that and just, you know, like looking inside my PC. Mainly because I've got stuff that lights up in mine in the lounge. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, um, I'm just going to bring this this way. Um, yeah, I'd swap this with a friend. I swapped it for another one I had because he liked that one better because I had the transparent panel. But I thought this one would actually be a bit more useful to someone like me because it's got this um, hot swap hard drive connector up here. SATA um, power and data. So I just thought, you know, if I need to format a drive, I've not got to rig up a computer or anything. I can just plug this computer in, in here chuck a hard drive on there and, you know, format it, whatever I've got to do with it, test it, without having to, um, you know, take the side cover off and have cables and hard drives hanging out of here. So I think that's going to be quite useful. So I'm going to build a machine in this. I just haven't decided what motherboard's going to go in it. Because <laughs> I have got a choice. I've got two up here, then I've got a whole bunch of them in there. It's only got to have enough, you know, power just to, well, be a test rig really. To test bits and bobs. So I'm going to put that down here out of the way. Uh, the other PC case some of you may actually recognize. Oh, bloody hell. This bad boy. For some reason there's a lot of weight at the front and I'm assuming it's just because of the um, hard drive bays and whatnot that are all in here. Why isn't that lined up? So it's all hickledy pickledy in here for some reason. I think it's this middle one actually. I'm going to leave that out because I've got to wash it anyway. Because um, I think it was last Friday I bought this home. And I had an 8 pack of um, Pepsi Max in here because I thought that was the easiest way to bring it up from the car instead of you know, something under each arm. I just took the side cover off. I had Pepsi in here. I had some tea towels in here that mum gave me. <laughs> and I got all the way from that end of the block, which is a good, I don't really know, a good um, 30, 40 feet away, up both flights of stairs, I got to the flat door, put this down on the floor, and as soon as I did that, the pack of cans, it's an 8 pack that I had in here, slid this way towards the front of the case, and one of the cans got burst on one of these hard drive bays, so I've got um, Pepsi to clean out of it. But my plan for this one is, as I no longer want to use this case for anything, um, is tomorrow, I haven't decided if I'm going to take this to a friend's or if I'm going to go and pinch my friend's computer and bring it here. It might be better to actually go and pinch it and bring it here, to be honest. Because um, I can do it in here, there's less risk of static because, you know, his apartment is just carpet everywhere. I've got nowhere safe, really, to do it, you know. Um, yeah, and just rebuild his into here. Because um, I built him that PC as a Christmas present last year. <clears throat> um, and I just used, basically, the best case I had available at the time. I really didn't like it, I really didn't want to use it. I want to build him something, you know, in a nice case like this, but I didn't have one at the time. So I just thought, well, I'll use this, and I thought to myself, if I find a bit of case, I can just swap it, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Because this has got better airflow in it, it's got a much bigger fan there. In fact, I might do it before I go to bed, I might do it uh, in the morning. I think this is a light-up one, which I want to swap, if it is. And if it were actually it is, I can see the LEDs in each corner, so I, I need to power this up with uh, 12 volts and just see if it works. Have I got something here that I can just... Yeah, I'm sure I can um, jerry-rig something. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that fan actually works, let alone lights up, so I want to test that before I chuck it in here, because I've just got standard. Very dirty... Um, 
black one in there. What is it? Oh, it's the original NZXT one. Because this is an NZXT case. Same brand as my um, Ryzen build in the uh, lounge. Anyway, let's get this one down and out of the way. In fact, I'm going to stack it on top of that one. <coughs> right. Now, the same friend I traded that black case with, also give me this, a Benq or a BenQ monitor, quite a nice one. Um, there's no stand because when he used this he used like a wall bracket, no one of them um, funky brackets you know, one stand but you could put two monitors on it, that's what he was using. So he's actually still using that stand, so... Yeah, oh, this one doesn't have HDMI on it, but it will do as a second monitor. Um, I've actually got another one under there, a LG, but that's got a big line going somewhere there, I think. <clears throat> it could just need a ribbon cable reseating, which I might try that. It's worth a try, it's easy enough to take the thing apart, so... It'll either work or it won't. <clears throat> Get a croaky voice now. I was wondering why I have a croaky voice in this video. It's because of how many takes I have to do just to get to this point. There we go. That's usually why I've got a drink um, in each video as well. Right. One more computer related thing. Let's do it in some sort of order. So, a friend of mine also uh, gave me this. Um, I gave him my old i7 board because I couldn't get it to work. I didn't really care anymore about it. I tried everything I could think of to get that board to fire up and all it did was boot um, power cycle. And I still owed him um, for a trade we did a while ago for the Oculus Quest 2. So. I gave him that board and he gave me this one. Apparently this one works. I've got a cooler for it, but he took the fan. <laughs> he kept the fan. So I've just got the heat sink and everything. I've got to find a fan to put on it. Um, but I've got the IO shield and everything. He said the only thing he couldn't get to work was this lot here. And we've got different firewires there. And we've got two USB and then we've got two external SAR. And he said he couldn't get those USBs to work. So, you see, he doesn't know if he needed some sort of special driver for those or not. I've never seen yellow ones, so I have no idea. I need to um, Google this particular board, I think, and uh, see if I can find the details of it. Right, next. Lighting, I think, then I can get these out of the way. So, bought these on eBay. Bit of back and forth with the office, because it was... Um, buy it now, no, it was bids, or you could send an offer. So I sent an offer, and he counted offered, and I accepted. He counter offered at 15 quid, actually. I suppose I could have been cheeky and then, you know, counter offered again at 12.50 to try and get him down a bit, but I, I couldn't be bothered. So I got these, 15 quid, they're actually quite heavy. <laughs> they do work. I've actually um, powered these up. Um, and charge the batteries. I've got the batteries disconnected now so they don't go flat. But yeah, they work. This one, the um, transformers on the circuit board, I've got a heck of a buzz, which is a bit annoying, so I don't think I'm going to be putting this one up. Because um, I do want to put one of these up above. I was thinking of putting one above the lounge door, actually. Um, and you can change the setting on these, you can change it so the tube is lit all the time even when the mains is on the tube is lit and then of course when the power goes off it just switches to the battery or you can have it so it just works as an ordinary emergency light you know so it goes off or it stays off when the mains is on and then comes on when the power goes off um, you know when the mains power goes off so I'm not I think I'm just going to have it set to that. I've took the link out. But yeah, they both work. You see there's a bit of sun damage on this one because it's a bit faded. Well, actually, I don't know if there's sun damage or if it'd be the UV from the fluorescent tube. I'm 
it's ridiculous that things, you know, just get taken down like this, just because it's old. You can still get the tubes. They still work. I'm pretty certain you can still buy the batteries. Because I've actually been testing a lot of my other emergency lights as well. I found out that a couple of them got knackered batteries and they won't charge. So, I'm going to have a look on eBay at some point and see if I can find some. Because um, I've already got double D cell rechargeable little battery packs, that's all they are. I should have bought one through from the lounge, actually. Right. Um, I'm going to stray away from the electrical theme for a minute. Me, my stepdad found this for me. And I got another Lego train. Apparently it is all complete. Um, and it is working. It's got their new powered up controller. Which you can actually um, also use your mobile phone with if you download the app. So you don't have to use that controller. You can use your phone. <coughs> but yeah, apparently it is... Oh, I forgot I put all of this in there. I thought I'd bring this out for as and when I put up these emergency lights, so another bit. And something that I bought at um, a yard sale in Buxton and completely forgot about it until I found it at Mum's. <laughs> I saw it up on the shelf in the utility room and I thought, oh, I forgot about that. But yeah, it is all there from the looks of it. All the track is there. But you see, Lego are quite smart, right? They sell you the train set, but only sell you sell it with one end. <laughs> you only get the one motorised end. You don't get anything to go on that end, so it looks a bit odd. So if you want to make the train look complete, you'd have to buy two of these. Obviously you don't want two motorised ends, so you just wouldn't fit the motor to the other end. You'd have a dummy end. But, uh, <laughs> That's actually quite a cute way to try and get you to buy, you know, two of these sets and spend more money. I'll give Lego credit there, they are quite smart. <laughs> so I actually do want another one of those now, just so I can have both ends on it, because that's going to drive me up the wall otherwise. What have we got a QC sticker on the worktop? It's quite an old one. It's like falling off the records or something. Right, anyway. Get to this in a minute. First, because I was at Mum's today, <clears throat> we did a um, what we just call a dump room. We've always called it the dump. Although these days they're called the recycling centre. Anyway, some of them, at least the larger ones here in Norfolk, they have what they call a reuse shop. Um, so you can find all sorts in there. And I actually found these Panasonic speakers in there for £5. And I bought a couple of things for Mum as well. Um, now, what I find odd with these speakers, and I only just noticed it, is that they've got two different types of connections on them. They've got just the bare wire ones. So you've got one long wire for that, and then you've got another long one. You've just got that jack on the end of it. <laughs> now... Something like this wouldn't ordinarily interest me, but the stereo that I got there, which I traded with a friend of mine, the same one I got the um, black computer case from in the mono, it didn't come with any speakers. And I saw these there today and I thought, you know what, these would actually go quite nice, so, and probably sound better than the ones I had, and I had some vintage Sanyo ones, you know, the ones with the old wood. Well, these are wooden boxes as well, from the looks of it, but, um, you know, sort of, they're from the 70s. I know that. Possibly 60s, actually, now that I think about it. They're stacked in the bedroom at the minute. You know, they sound all right, but they just don't suit that system, and they don't sound right with that system. So, what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to fold up this cable, the one with the... Um, RCA jack thing on the end of it. I don't need that one because this stereo doesn't use them. So I'm just going to use these very handy um, ties that have been stapled to the back of the speaker box. There's two of them. 
as well. Two of these ties stapled to the back here. So I'm assuming you just use whichever cable you need to use for the setup that you've got. I don't. Mm, it's got a model number on there. Made in Malaysia. Uh, caution, use this speaker with the uh, with the units designated or within the permissible permissible, sorry, I can't speak English apparently power handling capacity indicated failure to heed this caution may result in malfunctioning or a fire contact your dealer if you have any queries these should be absolutely fine on that. I've Googled this stereo. I'll tell you what it is in a minute. Um, I've Googled the stereo and I've, the speakers for it physically are no bigger than this anyway. The ones that come with it. So I'm pretty certain they will be fine. It's not like I pump speakers up stupidly loud in this flat anyway. Right. So. This is a steeple tone. It's an SMC 922. And as I said, I traded this um, with a friend of mine, along with a box of records. Um, this was only half full when I first got it. Um, half of these are actually mine that I already had. And there's a whole bunch of uh, singles here as well. Some of these came with the stereo, but most of these are actually mine that I've collected up. Ooh, pardon me. Yeah, anyway, and I've got the box as well. Um, yeah, he was after some um, computer arm that matched. So he had, you know, four sticks the same instead of odd ones that he was currently using. Which I can understand because I'm exactly the same way. I hate having odd memory sticks in a system. Especially if it's... Um, you know, a case with a transparent side like both myself and he use. It just doesn't look right. Not so much on a lot of these older computers that I've got because you can't see inside them, so it doesn't bother me as much. Anyway, yeah, he sent me um, some photos of this on Facebook, you know, and said, would I be interested in it? And I was like, yeah, how much do you want for it? He's like, I'm not really sure what it's worth. I'll bring it over. If you're in, I said, yeah, I'm in, bring it over and I'll have a look. So we just decided on trade for a set of PC RAM instead. I could have used the PC RAM in a build I want to do, but I just thought, yeah, I've got RAM, I'll find something to shove in it. Get something different. Now, this did have a fault when I bought it, or when it first arrived. Um, and the only fault I could find was with the screen. Actually, I think some of these selector buttons were a bit faulty or a bit temperamental, but obviously I couldn't see to confirm that because I couldn't see what they were doing. <laughs> the screen lit up, the backlight worked fine. Um, there was just nothing coming up on the screen, as in words or anything. Um, so what I did, I took it all apart, which is actually quite easy to do on this. And um, found that inside it's quite modular, as in you can unplug just about every cable in here. So every circuit board just plugs into the next one. Um, so I literally, this is all I did, I literally just went through and I unplugged every cable I could find. Plugged them back in, so reseated them all. And that display has worked ever since. I don't know if you can see it there. Let me just zoom in so you can get better, a better view of it. There you go. It's not actually coming up clearly on there, is it? There is something on there. I can just about see it on my um, camera screen. But yeah, it is actually working. And that's literally, that's all I did. Um, so, features. Radio, two CD decks, it's even got a cassette deck, 
it's hidden on this side just goes in that side Ugh. that needs a um, clean it's got some crap all over I'm not putting that in there that's better that's my um, designated test tape it's only a party gossip tape from Top of the Pops so I doubt I'd get uh, copyrighted on that and I know this plays really really well and super clear so yeah <clears throat> yeah tape deck does work it was a bit sluggish at first but once I'd let it play for a few seconds it started playing fine I'm just guessing it was from lack of use yeah that's got record deck so apparently what you can do and this is what he told me what I've read up on this as well this is a recording deck you can record to CDs with this one and when I looked inside all it is is a CD-ROM that's all it is just a CD rewriter in there that they've um, shoved in and put their own door cover on that is just a standard sort of average CD plan deck that's all it looks like but that does work that plays radio plays that plays tape deck plays but I want to know if these speakers were worth the five pounds that I actually paid for them so what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect them up at the back. Which one have I got here? None of it really matters. Not this one. And um, shove the tape in there. Just see if we'll get anything uh, out. Hopefully I will. Not that I'm too worried about spending, you know, spending five pounds on. I could have actually got, actually I suppose if I really wanted to, I could have a look if they're still there the next time I go over to Mum's. Some um, floor speakers, but I don't actually have anywhere to put floor speakers, unfortunately. <clears throat> Otherwise I'd have gone for them, because they would have been probably the same price. just made me jump because that was right down my ear that little pop so I forgot I've got this turned on haven't I <laughs> nothing like making yourself jump I wonder if this one's going to do the same thing because I got the power turned on well at least that's a good thing at least I know these are uh, these should work Negative. Yep, that one's done the same thing. I get the blood wire in nicely without it, uh, a risk of it shorting out anywhere. There we go. So, I'm going to select tape. Comes up with busy. And it literally will not do anything while the busy is displaying. I'm going to throw some tape in there. And it should, when it's done that, start playing the tape. And hopefully, we'll have audio out. It is, but they're a bit crackly. This is Top of the Pops Magazine Christmas Party. Just uh, wander over here and interrupt these guys playing Paul. 911, hello. Oh, hello there. Hello, hello there. Put down those, those cues. Put down that chalk as well. No more graffiti, please. That cracker has actually gone. Fantastic year. Yes, it's been, uh, it's been brilliant. We have got a bass boost button here. None of that really makes a difference. Are you hear a difference? Have you bought any presents yet? We usually leave them until Christmas Eve. Yeah. yeah. Well, it does make a bit of difference, actually. Are you going to be at home at Christmas? Well, it didn't make any difference with the other Sandos because I had on this. They all seem to do this with new bands, don't they? I mean, I've talked to loads of people throughout the years who seem in the first few years to work so hard at their careers. Do you think you'll still be saying it maybe in like five years' time from now? Um, <laughs> they're both working fine. The crystal ball. I hope so. Yeah. It's going to work harder and harder. I know they're not an exact match oh, yeah. for this, but um, it's not the Christmas tree down there. they're a lot better. And you know, I was... There we go, so I haven't got to bloody talk over that. I spent ages trying to figure out how you fast forward the tape 
or it might rewind, rewind it. I haven't figured out what it... No, I'm pretty certain it fast forward it. It's actually on the eject button. Put the tape in. And then you just press the eject button down halfway. And it clicks. And, uh... Fast forward, is it? Yeah, you just press it lightly. Who are you going to be spending the most money on this Christmas? Probably on lambs. Uh, it's so sweet. Yeah, we um, do. Took me ages to find that button. Because obviously there's no manual or anything with this. I didn't get one. Sweet. Speakers work. That's working. Should also get a remote control with this. I might have a look on eBay and see if I can find one. There might be one on there. Um, I actually quite like this. Like I said, everything opens up. Everything works. Radio works. Although the radio works separate from everything else. Just crank that down. See, all of this bit turns off. So it's now literally just the radio, that, and the radio volume buttons. And the, uh, I think that's the um, radio station, yeah, that's the wave select. It was on FM at the minute, FM, AM. And that is something I've never understood. It's got FM stereo, FM, and then AMs. The difference with FM stereo, is that a different wavelength? I mean, I've just switched it and I've still got sound coming out of both speakers. I'm not hearing a lot of difference between the two either. I don't know, I'm not an expert on these things, I just like using them. Now I would like to set this up somewhere. I just haven't got a bloody clue why I'm going to set it up. Might be a nice unit to have in the kitchen, actually, if I could put those speakers somewhere. If I clear the corner <laughs> by the cooker. Yeah, I'm going to turn that down just because I get... Uh... Well, actually, I could do that. I don't want to deal with copyright claims if I can help it. Right. I think that's it. Uh, actually, going back to the yard, I'm looking around like this, and it feels absolutely normal to me at the minute. So maybe it has improved a little bit. I don't know. Fingers crossed. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't. I'm looking around. I can't see anything that I've forgotten. Not unless anybody is interested in that. Uh, I found this in the charity shop the other day. £3.50. I've actually noticed this one isn't an originally an original sealed one because it's been taped up. Well, maybe it's started to peel off so they've put a bit of tape on there. I don't know. I don't want to take the tape off to uh, find out. I'm not bothered because I've actually got another one up on the shelf which is just like it, so... Yeah, what's I got on there? Uh, Moreland... Moreland Centre. Stuff rattling around in my pocket, I don't know what that was. Oh! Uh, my diabetes meds. Yeah, I don't often, you know, collect boxed die cast, but I do like collecting these old matchbox ones because I just like the box art, I like the box style. So I've got a few of these up on the shelf on display. That's where that one's going to go. If I feel in the mood one day, I might go on eBay and see if I can buy some more. Yeah, I think that was actually it for the video. I can't think of anything else to show you. Um, oh, a friend of mine gave me another um, computer keyboard. That was boring. It's just a keyboard that lights up. Same as the one I'm using. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> um, I 
think I'm actually getting too tired to do anything with that white case tonight. <laughs> I think I'll get some sleep and get up early-ish. I think my friend will be here about 12. That should give me enough time just to have something to eat and start doing something around the flat at least and getting this case ready. Motorbike. Oh, bike. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. Quite a regular one I hear, that one. Oh, he's gone the other way. I think he was over there on the car park. Oh, he's gone. Oh, I love this stuff. I think I'm starting to like this more than bloody Pepsi, to be honest. Co is no fun when you can't have caffeine. <laughs> suppose in theory I can, I mean the doctors didn't tell me I can't, but it's just a case of, you know, do I want to risk it at the minute? And the answer to that is, no, I'm quite happy not being, you know, buzzing on the caffeine. Cool, I didn't have to get some headaches for a few days after that, because we're pretty, you know, so many years drinking Pepsi Max, I'm not kidding, probably three or four years just drinking Pepsi Max, body got used to caffeine, then I suddenly stopped the caffeine, body didn't like that. Toughens. <laughs> oh, did I mention I have to wear a 24-hour um, blood pressure monitor? I'm not looking forward to that. It's going to be fitted on the 7th. And I can't remember what time, so I may actually have to just pop in and check when I'm next there. I might, I'll do that when I next pick up my meds. So I've got to pick up meds before the 7th of September. Um, in fact, I think my diabetic meds are... What's today's date? Yeah, they're not far off, actually. Um, yeah, I don't know how often it's going to go off to take blood pressure well, apparently you know it's just like the electronic one I was using but apparently it does it automatically yay I ain't sleeping that night am I there's no way I'm gonna sleep that night because I, I can just picture it you know you're gonna be just about dozing off and then that poxy thing is gonna go off and take your blood pressure <laughs> So I'm not, I might doze off for a bit. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that. I didn't sleep very well when I had the bloody heart monitor stuck to me. Right, anyway. I think that's enough uh, chit-chatting for now. <clears throat> so, uh... Thanks a lot for watching everyone, if you made it this far, don't blame me if you didn't. <laughs> um, if you did, then feel free to give me a, a like. And if you did and you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe, it's free. <clears throat> you know, if you just like weird and not so wonderful channels, because I'm not a very good channel. <laughs> Yeah, um, oh yeah, and I'll leave a link to the Discord server in the description as well for anyone that may like to join and come on over and have a chat <coughs> and whatnot. There's everything on there. I've got quite a lot of channels on there for various interests, as well as, you know, a general chit-chat channel. <coughs> anyway, I'm just rambling again, so thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.